Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be making delicious cheese creamy stuffed chicken breasts. These are so easy to make and I will be baking them in the oven. Okay, today I'm making stuffed chicken and the ingredients that I'm going to use for the filling of this stuffed chicken breast is I have four ounces of baby spinach that I've rinsed. I ran it through my spinner, my salad spinner. Here I have eight ounces of chopped shiitake mushrooms, use button mushrooms, baby bella mushrooms, it's up to you. I also have four ounces of pepper jack cheese. The cheese of your choice works for this. Sometimes I use mozzarella if I have it. I also have one eight ounce block of cream cheese and you will want this softened slightly to be able to mix it. So if you need to pop it into the microwave for about 30 seconds, that works. I'm also going to be using one packet of onion soup seasoning or dip mix. So for the chicken, I am working with thin pieces of chicken breast. I ordered uh, chicken breast from Imperfect Foods and it already came sliced thinly. It's basically one chicken breast that was sliced in the middle. So it created these thin pieces of you know chicken breast. So I created pockets in each one. I have four. You'll want to work with about one and three quarters pounds and two to two pounds of chicken breast works for this. But I am working with four thin cut pieces of chicken breast. So that will vary in cook time. If you're working with a thick piece of chicken breast and you cut a pocket, then just know that you want the internal temperature of the chicken to reach 165 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that will vary in cook time, but because these are really thin, it's not going to be that long in the oven. And I'm going to season my chicken with just Lowry seasoned salt, some garlic powder, and some lemon pepper. Mind you, this onion seasoning does have, you know, sodium and salt and seasoning in it, so you want to be careful when you season the chicken breast. Okay, so first I'm going to saute my spinach and mushroom. Okay, so a little bit of oil to my preheating pan. I am going to add my mushrooms. Saute and cook out a lot of the moisture in the mushrooms. And once I get these a head start, I'm gonna add the spinach. Okay, now for the spinach going in. Okay, as you can see, everything wilted down. I already shut off the heat. The heat is completely shut off, so I'm just going to let residual heat cook out any moisture that's left in the pan. Just like that. Let it uh, cool off a bit before mixing it into your cheese mixture. Okay, so I have four ounces of cooked baby spinach, eight ounces of cooked shiitake mushrooms. I'm going to add one package of onion soup mix. I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese going in. And I have four ounces of pepper jack cheese. Like I stated earlier, use the cheese of your choice. Now I'm just going to mix and combine well. Okay, so this is mixed well, and all you're going to do is basically divide it <laughs> into four, and each little section you stuff your chicken with. So I'm going to take my little filleted chicken breast. I did the best I could to butterfly it. These were really thin pieces. Um, I might actually bake it something like this. Kind of flap it open, and basically you're going to fill it right in the center and just fold it over and it's going to sort of be a lot and that's okay it's gonna bake it's gonna be great and then just enclose it the best that you can clean hands work best when doing this I don't care how you're trying to be neat it's just gonna there you go and that's that that's one stuffed chicken breast onto my baking sheet Okay, I'm going to continue stuffing the rest. I'm going to be making some roasted frozen veggies today. I kind of just had a little bit left of these and one bag of 
the marinade veggies and I'm just going to roast those in the oven as well. That's going to be the side dish for my stuffed chicken. I'm going to be baking these in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. Basically the internal temperature needs to reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit and the cook time will definitely vary on how thick your chicken is butterflied. Mine is about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little bit thinner in some places, so it might not take exactly 15 minutes. You'll just want to make sure that you check your chicken right at around 12 to 13 minutes to see how it's cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and place this in the oven. Okay, so my chicken breasts, or my stuffed chicken breasts are cooked. It smells fantastic in my kitchen. I'm gonna let these rest for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna cut into it to show you. Okay, so I am going to dive into this. It has rested, and actually I probably don't even need this butter knife, it's really tender. I'm gonna get... Going in, you guys. Take a look at that chicken. Tender and juicy. Mmm, so good. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.